Rory McIlroy clinched the FedEx Cup Championship to cheers from his fans as the first ever golfer in history to have won three FedEx Cups. Just as he did in 2016, when he came from behind to win his first FedEx Cup, Rory McIlroy took advantage of several poor swings made by the world number one, Scotty Scheffler, to emerge from behind and become the winner on August 28th and, of course, $18 million richer. However, this past weekend was more than just making history. The golfer was making a statement. As one of the loudest voices in support of the PGA Tour, this win further cemented his opinion that the PGA Tour was the best place to play golf, with the deepest fields and the most experienced players. With many players leaving for the rival Live Golf, the Northern Ireland golfer has once again proven why he was good enough to spend more than 100 weeks on the number one spot on the official World Golf Rankings, and he's busy coming up with something new alongside Tiger Woods. Welcome to Golf Links. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel to get updates on new video drops. On August 28, 2022, Rory McIlroy once again wrote his name in gold in the golf history books when he became the first golfer ever to win the FedEx Cup three times. Like many of his wins, Rory McIlroy had been trailing yet again at East Lake. This time, he was six shots behind in the final round of the FedEx Cup. For starters, Scotty Scheffler was many bookies' favorite to win the FedEx Cup and take the $18 million in prize money. However, during the final round, Scotty Scheffler and Rory McElroy both bogeyed the first hole. For Scotty Scheffler, it would be a case of more slipped shots on the fourth and sixth holes. Rory McElroy, on the other hand, rallied around to birdie the third hole and even take a step further to add more until he was tied in the lead with the world's number one. To prove that he's no pushover on the golf course, Scotty Scheffler answered with a birdie on the eighth hole. On the twelfth hole, Rory McElroy got into close contention with Scotty Scheffler, but soon suffered further bogeys in the fourteenth hole. Hole. For most of the encounter, it looked like Rory McIlroy was only playing catch-up with his fierce challenger. However, with a couple of hard lucks coming the way of Scotty Scheffler, Rory McIlroy made no mistake in holing from only seven feet to push the 2022 Masters Tournament champion into a shared second spot with Sun J.M. The FedEx Cup victory for Rory McIlroy became the third in his illustrious career. It was also the first moment in the history of the PGA Tour that a single player would win the competition three times. In 2016, when he first won the FedEx Cup, Rory McIlroy had come from behind in a similar fashion. Coming from two shots behind in the third round, Rory McIlroy entered a playoff round with Kevin Chappell and Ryan Moore. He clinched the 2016 FedEx Cup with a terrific performance to top the FedEx Cup points tally, taking home a cool $10 million as a result. During the FedEx Cup in 2019, he was on the front foot for the most part of the competition to clinch the trophy for the second time, while also taking taking home a mouth-watering $15 million. Following his historic victory at Georgia for the third time, Rory McIlroy would take home a massive $18 million US dollars in prize money to further push his total earnings for 2022 to almost unimaginable heights. Aside from Tiger Woods, Rory McIlroy is largely seen as the most marketable and exciting golfer. For one reason, it may be largely down to his numerous PGA Tour wins and achievements over the years. But in July of 2022, the Northern Irishman showed how he could still be the people's champion, even without taking home the trophy. Rory had been many gamblers' favorite to win the 150th Open Championship. After the event's first round, the 33-year-old golf star was sitting in second place. By the end of the second phase of the competition, Rory McIlroy had dropped to third place. However, the third round began to see a change and a much better fortune for Rory McIlroy. In no time, he was tied at the top with Victor Hovland, with both golfers sitting a massive four shots ahead of everyone else. On the last day of the 2022 Open Championship, Rory McIlroy put a gap between himself and Victor Hovland with a birdie at the fifth hole. With no major errors committed and no missed shots, somehow, Rory McIlroy ended up empty-handed by the evening of the final day in St. Andrews. How did did Rory McIlroy, who has a reputation for sneaking from behind to win trophies, miss out on this? Rory McIlroy had recorded a 2 under 70, which by comparison to the 8 under 64 scored by Cameron
Cameron Smith took him several miles ahead. To make things more devastating for the Northern Irishman, Cameron Young piped him to the second spot after dropping an eagle right on the 72nd hole to score 19 under par. With this, Rory McIlroy ended up in the third spot with a shot behind Cameron Young and two shots behind Cameron Smith. By the end of the event, Golf Channel maestro Justin Ray had concluded that the 2022 Open Championship weekend was the first time in the account of Penn Stats that a golfer who had a 54-hole significant lead and made no mistake with hitting every green in the final round regulation still wouldn't win the trophy in the end. Regardless of how many may view this, it was a disappointment for Rory McIlroy. However, Rory McIlroy owned the Open on the final day. Nearly all of Scotland was solidly behind him, and NBC appeared to pump up the noise coming from the crowd for every decent shot taken by Rory McIlroy. In what would perhaps be the 2021 Wells Fargo Championship winner's most impressive career shot, he had holed out a ball from the sand during the tournament, sending the crowd wild in ecstasy. The crowd's deafening noise brought a smirk to the faces of number one world golfer Scotty Scheffler and Dustin Johnson, who would have wished nothing more than to own such dedication. Nevertheless, Rory McIlroy didn't appear to feel too disappointed by the result. The two-time RBC Canadian Open winner admitted that he wished he didn't miss a few putts, but he knew that he had lost to a better opponent. Knowing that he would be competing at the DP World Tours tournament with some former PGA Tour players who had decamped to the Live Golf, Rory McIlroy spared some time off the back of his buoyant FedEx Cup victory to aim a couple of jabs at the Live Golf. According to the former world champion, he disliked how the world of golf had taken a new dimension and found it rather unsettling that he would see 18 of some PGA Tour stars who had chosen to join the Rebel League. Perhaps to show that Roy McIlroy was committed to making the PGA Tour and everything built around it surpass that of the Live Series, the 2022 FedEx Cup winner had joined hands with Tiger Woods to create a tech-infused golf league called the TGL Series. The PGA-approved tournament would involve a contest among 18 players in a three-person team. However, unlike what we see in the PGA Tour pitches, the TGL would have built a stadium where its events would begin in 2024. Similar to a football-type showdown, many fans would go sit around the stadium to watch golfers compete in the 18-hole tug-of-war. However, establishing the new TGL series has not come without its little headache. Shortly before the commencement of the FedEx Cup, Rory McIlroy and Tiger Woods received a summon from the court to answer some questions regarding the TGL, which is now deemed a direct rival to the Live series based on antitrust laws. Although the court summons was aimed at getting information regarding what is perceived perceived as an attempt to hurt the Live Golf Tour and many of its players, many believe it may have been motivated by the management of the Live Golf Series to frustrate the TGL. Aside from Rory McIlroy's investment portfolio that indicates a stake in Drive Shack, the Northern Irishman is also involved with Tiger Woods in establishing TMRW Sports. The two golf stars had announced that the new company would be focused on technology-inclined endeavors that include modern approaches to media, sports, and entertainment. Interestingly, they will be joined by iconic NBC Sports personalities like Mike McCarley and Dick Ebersole in a bid to add the needed expertise to the young company. According to Roy McElroy, the partnership to form Tomorrow Sports was necessary to improve the sports experience and make many people gain easy access to sports worldwide. It was no surprise that Roy McElroy and Tiger Woods used Tomorrow Sports to announce the formation of the TGL Golf Series. Following years of astonishing success, on the golf course, the current world number four golf star holds a namesake video game titled Rory McIlroy PGA for EA Sports Gaming Company. You may find it rather intriguing that the 2022 Masters Tournament runner-up had replaced Tiger Woods, who previously held the namesake video game version, Tiger Woods PGA for EA Sports. Sitting on a net worth of over $150 million from multiple winnings, tour finishings, and numerous businesses, Roy McIlroy is believed to be one of the top 10 richest golf stars in the world. The Northern Irishman also holds multiple mega million deals with popular sports companies like TaylorMade, Nike, Omega, Golf Pass, NBC Sports, and Optum. Having endured a few relationships with celebrity Holly Sweeney and a controversial fling with Meghan Markle, Rory McIlroy married PGA employee Erica Stoll in 2017. On August 31st, 2020, the two lovers welcomed their first kid, Poppy Kenny McIlroy. Of course, he'll be spending the next few days celebrating his latest historic historic win with friends and family.